In our quest for financial freedom, we need to understand that printing money is never free. It breeds inflation if not duly planned, and unfortunately, we're in for that already. The government's banks and interest rates intervene, attempting their strategies to manage it. However, here's the turn of events. As the pace quickens, your pockets become the focal point, and inflation is poised to shift from bad to even worse. Predictions and Warnings Let's talk about Michael Burry, famous for predicting the 2008 housing market crash in the big short. He's making waves again. He said some things about the economy that are worth paying attention to. On January 2nd, Burry tweeted about inflation at its peak. In simple terms, he said the rising price might not keep going up at the same rate. He also thinks by late 2023 we could see prices go down like a roller coaster. That's not all. He's also predicting a U.S. recession. In other words, he thinks the American economy might slow down and he's keeping an eye on what the Federal Reserve and the government are going to try to do to prevent it. So what's the takeaway here? Well, it looks like the financial world could become unstable and unpredictable. Introducing Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. He's sounding the alarm about inflation in a big way. In his view, increasing oil prices and strategic power moves are leading to inflation. Kiyosaki is sharing some hard truths and warning about potential financial hardship and struggles for the working class. Oil plays a starring role in the situation. There's more to it, policy pitfalls. Kiyosaki isn't just talking about inflation. He's highlighting how these choices could send shockwaves through the entire system. So get ready for some financial surprises. Kiyosaki and Burry, think of them as financial forecasters, warning of a possible recession ahead. Unveiling the manipulative CPI, exposing the true inflation rate. Let's talk about something fundamental, inflation. It's as if the prices of everything are constantly changing. And you know what's strange? The official inflation rate seems like a trick. While they say it's all okay, guess what's been right there? Double-digit inflation, not just for a little while, but for a few years. Have you ever suspected that the Consumer Price Index, CPI, might be playing some financial tricks? Well, you're not alone. Perian Boring's analysis shines a spotlight on the CPI's actions. Let's go back to 2014 when Boring made a big statement about the CPI. She mentioned it doesn't display everything, similar to a movie trailer that misses some crucials. She investigates the CPI's function and discovers the changes. Additionally, there is further information to consider. Boring reveals how the CPI is presented, revealing possible prejudices. Yet, here's the surprise. Despite all this investigation, it's challenging to pinpoint the exact increase in prices. Decoding the Fed's Money Printing Policy, Root Cause of Inflation Now let's discuss the financial situation. Imagine a spotlight on the Federal Reserve and its continuous money printing activities. They're creating lots of money to boost the economy after the pandemic. However, here's the problem. There's now too much money chasing after a limited supply of goods and services, and what happens when that occurs? Prices start to rise significantly. This is an economy steadily producing goods. Envision the government firing up its printing press and creating loads of money. You end with more cash in your wallet, but there's a catch. If those goods don't increase, be prepared. The price situation might become turbulent. The key point to understand is that more money means more buying power, but the goods are scarce. Demand skyrockets, but supply remains limited. And that's when prices soar while the value of your money takes a hit. That fresh banknote, suddenly it's worth a lot less. Money and prices. Imagine there's more money floating around, like the cash you have in your wallet. Now think about how fast this money moves from one place to another. That's V, and we have two more things to consider. P, which stands for prices, and Y, which represents the total income in a country. So when there's more money, be ready for some changes. Prices might start giving up, and things could get more expensive. Why does this happen? It's often because there's too much money being printed, like a never-ending money-making machine. When there's too much money and not enough stuff to buy, prices tend to rise. So if you see lots of money being printed, keep an eye on those prices. They might just start climbing. In simple terms, when there's a flood of money and not enough things to buy, prices can go up, and that's what we mean by inflation. It's like a seesaw, and when there's too much money on one side, the prices go up on the other. Unraveling the foreign investor exodus, the effect of U.S. credit rating downgrade. This is a significant financial problem. Have you heard the saying, when bad things start, they keep getting worse? Well, get ready for a big challenge. Visualize Fitch, the superhero who rates how safe investments are warned foreign investors that something's wrong. Consider them quickly getting rid of their dollars and causing financial chaos. It's going to be a difficult time. In August 2011, there was a surprising turn of events in the U.S. financial scene. 
Standard & Poor's, the credit rating champs, did the unthinkable. Downgraded the U.S. credit rating from AAA to AA+. It's like the economy's favorite reality TV show turns suspense thriller. Why did they do it, you asked? Well, two main reasons got everyone's attention. First, the U.S. debt is rising incredibly fast, and second, the people in charge of making important decisions are acting slowly. Why is this such a big deal? Think of credit ratings like report cards for countries. Companies like S&P, Moody's, and Fitch act like strict teachers, giving grades based on how much debt a country has and how it manages its money. And let me tell you, this drop in rating was causing a problem in a very delicate situation. Economists and experts went into high gear. Predictions were flying everywhere. Some said there might be another recession. Others said investors would lose confidence and the stock markets would be all over the place. It was quite a drama, but not everyone was panicking. Some folks said, hold on, the U.S. still has some tricks it can use. This rating drop was akin to triggering a significant issue in a sensitive situation. This financial situation has more surprises than a mystery book. Confronting the harsh reality, navigating the future of inflation. Here's where things get a bit tricky. The Federal Reserve aims to increase interest rates to reduce economic growth and manage inflation. Then what does that mean for regular folks like you and me? We'll get ready for a surge in prices. Yes, everything is about to cost more, and companies will have no choice but to charge us, the consumers, more money because their costs are going up. This is a crisis, and people should start preparing for hyperinflation. It's time to gear up and face this problem head on. We need to take inflation and hyperinflation more seriously than ever because it's becoming a problem, and there will be consequences if we don't act now. To survive hyperinflation, we must act now. There are numerous ways to prepare for this financial disaster that's coming up fast. I will share some practical tips and strategies to help you protect your hard-earned money and get through this hardship. Today, we're confronting the harsh reality of inflation and uncovering actionable steps to secure our financial future. In a world where prices are surging, legendary investor Warren Buffett's insights shine as beacons of wisdom. Now let's explore his strategies for dealing with what he accurately described as a huge corporate problem. 1. Invest wisely. Buffett advises us to put our money into businesses with low capital requirements that continue to deliver high returns. During inflationary times, these businesses can outperform their counterparts as they won't need to pour vast sums into maintaining their status quo. 2. Pricing power. Buffett emphasizes that pricing power is paramount. Companies that raise their prices without losing customers hold a significant advantage during inflation. This enables them to counter their escalating costs effectively. 3. Treasury Inflation Protected Securities Come to the fore as an endorsed option. These securities provide a fixed interest rate while adjusting the principal for inflation as measured by the Consumer Price Index. 4. Invest in yourself. Buffett's counsel extends beyond financial markets. He urges us to invest in self-improvement and education by enhancing our skills and becoming indispensable. We ensure the security of our earning potential. 5. Bonds and Want Buffett's insights warn us of traditional bonds in a low interest rate environment. Moreover, Buffett's partner, Charlie Munger, advises us to limit unnecessary desires, providing a robust defense against the uncertainties of life. Now let's transform these strategies into actionable steps that may help us navigate the impending inflation storm. 1. Strategic Investments This involves researching and selecting businesses with strong pricing power and minimal capital needs. These choices act as a reliable defense against inflation's impact, helping your investments maintain or grow in real value over time and providing stability amid rising prices and economic uncertainties. 2. Skill Building Prioritize skill development by investing in your growth through continuous learning and honing new skills. This self-investment ensures your expertise remains valuable, safeguarding your earning potential irrespective of economic fluctuations. 3. Diversify with Tips Improve diversification by incorporating Treasury Inflation Protected Securities tips, into your investment portfolio. TIPS provides a valuable defense mechanism against the corrosive impact of inflation. These securities offer a fixed interest rate while adjusting the principal amount in line with changes in the Consumer Price Index CPI. By including TIPS in your investment mix, you can better shield your wealth from the eroding effects of rising prices, preserving your purchasing power. 4. Financial Literacy Boost your financial literacy by delving into the intricacies of investing, finance, and economics. In terms of uncertainty, knowledge becomes your most formidable tool. Equipping yourself with a deep understanding of these subjects empowers you to navigate and make informed decisions, fortifying your financial stability during unpredictable periods. 5. Frugal Lifestyle Embrace this by adopting a moderate and prudent spending approach. 
Restraining extravagant desires can strengthen your financial resilience, helping you weather economic challenges and maintain a secure financial footing. Actionable steps to navigate the future of inflation, inspired by the sagacity of Warren Buffett. Remember, in the face of inflation's challenges, knowledge, adaptability, and prudent choices can light your path. If this information has opened your eyes to the impending inflation storm, don't keep it to yourself. Subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. Let's spread the word and empower others to face this financial challenge head on. I want to hear your thoughts. Feel free to leave a comment below, sharing the steps you're taking to prepare for the impending wave of inflation. In our next video, we'll discuss more actionable steps you can take right now to safeguard your finances from the looming hyperinflation disaster. So hit that play button and let's continue our mission of economic enlightenment. Until then, stay informed and stay ahead in these turbulent financial waters.